it's come up here and there when dealing with uh, web pages that you'll have a mismatching uh, element on the page. So, for example, you'll be missing a closing div to an opening div element on a page. And it can be kind of hard to track that down. So I came up with this little technique here. So I'm going to go ahead and just view the source of this particular web page. I'm going to copy it out. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in my text editor. I use a text editor called EditPad Pro, which I've used for years, and it has a lot of very nice uh, regular expression type features and has a lot of power in that respect. So, in this case, let's say I want to find all opening and closing div elements. Well, it's, when you're just looking at the source, it's a little hard to see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little save regular expression I have. And this little regular expression here will match any opening and closing div elements on the page. And you notice I can hi click this little highlight here, and I'll go ahead and find the first. And you can see, I'll, I'll take off word wrap as well, you can see that it's highlighted any div elements on the page. Now the nice feature here is I can click fold and now the only thing that would be shown on the document is just any line on your text document that has a opening or closing div on it. So this can be useful if you're trying to track down missing opening and closing div elements for example. You can also do it, for example, here we'll have a little regular expression, and this will match any opening and closing table, table row, or table data elements on the page. So again, I can click fold, and now I'll only see the lines in this document that have a matching table, table row, or table data element on the page. And this can, again, can help you track down if you have a mismatch um, on a particular element on your page which I've hit from time to time and they can be a little harder to track down. Looking at the code isn't necessarily good enough because your code may be broken out into a whole bunch of different modules and includes or what have you. Um, so hopefully this technique might help someone else out. I've used it a few times to track down missing opening and closing elements on a page. Hope this helps. Take care.